It's a simple risk versus reward equation, Vanessa, asking yourself if the reward of seeing grandma or your kids for the first time in months is worth that risk of getting COVID-19. The risk versus reward question a little easier for Linda Ochendesco's family. It's not going to my kid's house. They've seen each other a couple times this year. Plus, she's a little older, so they decided the smaller the group, the better. I have a man upstairs who doesn't have any family at all, so I'm going to stay home and cook something for him. The same question for Heather Eflin's family was a little harder since they haven't been together much this year. Typically we go to Connecticut to my sisters and you know, my dad's sick in the hospital so we're kind of hoping that he makes it home before then and just gonna have a you know dinner with uh, just my parents and my kids and you know, so it's going to be a smaller gathering than normal this year. So how can you calculate risk versus reward in your home? First, ask if you have individuals over the age of 50, those with diabetes, heart disease, kidney disease, underlying lung problems, anyone who takes medication that may weaken their immune system, and ultimately uh, anyone who's obese or overweight. Dr. Christina Madison has a background in public health and infectious communicable diseases. She says even if none of your family meets that criteria, you should still have small gatherings. From 8 million to 9 million cases, it took us about a month and a half. From 9 million to 10 million cases, it took us 11 days. It took us six days to get from 10 million to 11 million cases. If that gives you any indication, I mean, we are in uncharted territory right now. I'd rather be safe and I'd rather my family be safe than to cause a whole problem. And for the people who say the risk of gathering in a large group is worth the reward, a simple message for the doctor. She asked if you don't keep your group small for the sake of your own family, she says at least do it for the sake of all the health care workers who are exhausted right now and who have not got a break since this pandemic began. For now, that's the very latest. Wale Aliyu, Boston 25 tonight.